Welcome back, folks. We have a problem. Uh, we are actually carrying food up here to our good stuff because Provo now wants food and fuel. So we need to limit our lines here. So this line is in Joliet Distribution Hub. It's only allowed to pick up um, actually nothing, I guess, but it can unload everything. Because this train is doing plastic over there and then goods down there. So that's fine. So over here, Uh, let's just set up all its things. So at lower Provo, you load plastic and you don't unload anything. And then at Provo North, you unload plastic and you load goods. Okay. And then this train. Uh, oh, we already set that up. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So this means that Olath also wants other things now. Yeah. He wants tools and fuel. Murrieta wants goods. And construction materials. Santa Rosa construction materials. Okay. Uh, what about El Paso? Oh, food, nice. And construction materials. You want construction materials? Well, we had a plan. Well, that's tools we want to make here. Okay. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. Let's let time fly. Okay. How many goods do we have sitting waiting here? 21. And you have, uh, no, not you, you're the other one. You have just unloaded goods, I guess. So we have one good sitting here, but we have good sitting here. We come over to El Paso, which needs quite a few goods. All right, we're in 1924. And we're doing okay. We're making a decent amount of money. And I'm not sure what we should set up next. What do we have sitting here? A hundred. And what are you... Carrying 154. All right, we have a new aircraft. I am considering dropping this down to two again because. Um, yeah, they have the old, bad tank cars. Um, your fuel for here, for Roseville.
Uh, Roswell is getting quite good fuel. Ooh, we need to upgrade these. Uh, replace. So we'll do... These go faster. I think we'll replace with the tarpaulins here. So that we get some more goods going here because it's quite full. Now, oh yeah, we were gonna change this up, weren't we? I'm bringing 196 food down. A lot of food. That is a lot of food. Hundred and eight sitting here for this train. I have a crap ton of berries sitting here. Uh, how much? We've got 196 going up there. And you're full. Yeah. Now we might leave this for now because it is working. And we are making money off it. So, why fix something that isn't broken? Yeah, we are making pretty good money off it. Uh, if I yet will... Ooh, to Murrieta and Santa Rosa is not making money. The Joliet goods... To El Paso is not making money. And Provo plastic to goods to the distribution hub is not making too much money either. Uh, we do have 136 oil sitting here. So that isn't half bad. How many goods do we have sitting here? Or plastic 73. Goods 11. You have everything you need. We just need to transport more. We have transported goods. So you have 24 goods on board. And we have 26 goods on their way down there. That's 84 plastic on its way over there. So you just need You really need to increase your production here, dude. And you got 31 goods. Hey, okay. you're coming in with 180 oil. And this is one and one to one. And this is one to one. So I think I think we're okay here. I think we're okay here. We just dropped some goods off. Three and twenty-two. Uh, for yet little food to Joliet transfer. Oh, does. This want goods now? It does. Hmm. Hmm. So this line. I 
I suppose it's actually fine that it, they bring food back here. Or goods back here. Nah, it's not though, because these trains run full. So it's really not. So let's say Joliet Port. You don't load anything, but you can unload everything. Okay. Because now we have... We have good sitting here. Which I really don't want. Man, you were just too late to get those. I guess you picked up some goods, yeah. Did you pick up some goods? Yeah. yeah. That's not great. That's not great. Okay. Um, uh, what we were going to do is hook up Frisco to Virginia Beach, wasn't it? I think that was the plan. And then hook up Santa Rosa to Temecula. Yeah, that was the plan. So let's stick to the plan, shall we? Um, we're going to have to do that. And we're going to have to pause. All right. So we're coming in here. We can come out the same way. Well, we need to come out the same way on the same tracks because it's the same train. And we'll tunnel through this mountain and come down here. Something like that. I think that's pretty good. Expensive. But it's in. Wow, it's digging some, huh? Let's smooth you. And then we need a station down here, and this is going to be a terminal station, which I think I'll put in here, so it's right smack in the middle. Um, that's that one. Uh, Just so it's passenger. What's this one? Nah. 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 Uh, uh. doesn't seem to have a terminus so let's just use a passenger terminus here and we'll stick you in here can you please stop moving uh, Oh, 
go. Okay. And then we need this to come down. And this station captures the entire town. Fantastic. For now, anyway. This needs to turn quite a bit. I think 176 is probably fine. Let's see what it does if we just want to connect. So there's a problem there. And it says too much slope. Is it sloping so much? No. Alright, so let's just take this road out. And see what it does then. That's actually perfect. That is actually perfect. All right. Uh, do we want to use this steel mill up here? We probably do at some point, but. Um, ooh, new, new streets. Nice. Uh, we'll do the small country road. Too much slope collision. colliding with how are you colliding here all right there it works oh there was something right there there this it doesn't look so weird with a tiny bit of asphalt all right so there then we need some signaling I want auto signals and I want a signal here I guess and that'll come all the way up to there. And then we'll put a signal in there. Uh, we need... We don't ne necessarily need, need a crossover here, but uh, or a junction here, but I'll make one. And put a signal in there. Okay. So that's Virginia Beach hooked up. That's not bad. Then we just need to change the line. Where's the train? Where's our train? Up there. And we're probably going to need another train on there. Uh, so after Frisco, you come down to Virginia Beach. And then you come back up to Frisco. And on this Frisco, 
you need to be on terminal one. So there. Perfect. And then where do we have? We have that there. Well, I think we can just clone this train now. Uh, clone. And go. All right, so Provo there's nothing waiting for that but you have 34 people on board that's not too bad and what do we have waiting here 22 go for going to virginia beach and then down here we'll start getting people as well eventually Anyone on their way? Are you going on the train? Go on the train. You want to go on the train? I know you do. You really want to go on the train. You want to go on the train, don't you? Don't you? No. You don't. You want to go on the train? Go on the train. You want to go on the train? You really want to go on the train? It's so exciting that the train has come to town. Yep, someone wants to go on the train. Oh, three people, four people. Five people. Nice. Six. Wow, people are excited. Look at that. So many people already. Very nice, very nice. All right, so for instance, uh, Angela, where are you going? You are going to a commercial building. Where? In Provo. Okay. All right, cool. And I think uh, that's what we're at. Uh, here at Pesco. Where are the trains? There's a train there. There's a train heading down there. I think we'll clone one more time, put a third train on here. No, no. I'm clone. There we go. All right. How many people do we have waiting here? Two and twenty-eight. You have a full load of people. One hundred and sixty-five for the Provo. Uh, we only have two trains on that. Four and thirty-six. And thirty-seven. You have a hundred and twenty something that wants to go back down. And how many people did you get? Thirty-eight. I think that train is good enough for now. So the next thing we want to do is somehow get this to come under or over the cargo line. Because this train needs to come up this way. And I think what I want to do is have it follow the ridge line here and then come through here and then come up to Temecula. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I want. I think that's what I want. Hmm. We have 82 million now. 
making around 20 million a year 20 plus million so that's okay you got 42 but you're dropping off a bunch how much fuel do we have here not enough for a full line let's have a look here you let's replace you with the Macapolin so that we get the stuff delivered a little bit faster we have quite a lot of stuff sitting here. And Murrieta wants goods now as well, which is great. And Santa Rosa wants goods. So that's not half bad. Alright, I think we'll end this episode by... Where's that train? There's a Provo train there. Is there one way down here? There is one way down here, but I want to come into Virginia Beach to see what that looks like. Uh, so let's take a ride on this beautiful passenger train that's not dirty at all looks good doesn't it whoa, 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 whoa. all right so this train is so cool this station I mean Oh, don't hit the... Alright. And a little autosave. To spice up the ride. And let's just see what this... Ride looks like. I really like the landscape here. It's beautiful. It really is. Alright. We're going through the little tunnel before our bendy bendy bit. And then we come out and we should have a spectacular view, I think. Look at this view! It's amazing. Whoa, train. Look at this view. Isn't that gorgeous? It's absolutely beautiful. And then we'll come down to Frisco. We have Frisco. A lot of people waiting to go the other way. Not so many to go down to what was it? Virginia Beach, I think. Okay. Oh, we have modern. Uh, Modern signals on this section of our railroad. Alright, green signal here. Here comes one of our other trains meeting in the tunnel. Cool, cool. 
We're going 61 kilometers an hour, 62, 61, well, I guess that's our speed. We have three passengers on board, it's not amazing, but it's a brand new line down to Virginia West, or Virginia Beach, sorry. Isn't it Virginia Beach? I think it's Virginia Beach. Yeah, it is. Just look look at the screen and read what it says. Heading for Virginia Beach. So yeah, we're going to Virginia Beach. All right, our little crossing off the road here. Ooh, up, uphill, uphill. And we're struggling a bit uphill, but it's okay. Coming around the bend to see Virginia Beach sprawl in front of us. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And we have people waiting here. Fantastic. That was a lovely little ride. That was a lovely little ride. Okay, so uh, that will be it for this episode. Next time we will figure out how the heck to get Santa Rosa to go up to Temecula. Uh, we have a crap ton of oil sitting here, all crude. We don't really have room for more trains on this line, though. I think I do want to hook up this oil well or this oil well to deliver over here as well because we're not getting enough we're just not getting enough we don't have any on, on board Uh, where is our next? There. 23 goods. We need more trains on this or what? You're not bringing up any... Oil. Are you? No? Are you out of oil? No? You out of oil or a plastic? No. I think we might need another of these trains, the, the good strings. Because we're just not getting enough. Doo -doo -doo. Or maybe we are simply fulfilling the needs. I mean, Provo is fully fulfilled. El Paso is not even close to fulfilled. What's the rate on the shipping line? 261. One more ship on there. Hopefully that will bring more down here. And then I think we'll make a truck line. Taking some goods up here to drop off. And then a train line going down here. Drop off goods and pick up food because you need food as well now. Yeah. Or we could make a port here and have this line stop by dropping off goods here. And this line could stop by that port as well and pick up food. Mm. 
No, that won't work. So we need to bring this and this. So we would have to have goods to there, then go over there and get goods to there, and then go back empty. So that doesn't really work. We'll figure it out. I kind of like the idea of the train line. Or the uh, truck line. And then we can pick up food as well. Oh well, we'll see. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.